Hello everybody and welcome as usual to the Geek Lab and today we're going to do something very different because I am going to become a geeky god! <laughs> something like that. Anyway, yes, uh, today I'm going to use the powers of geek to build my own volcano using this a volcano kit. Yes, got this a while ago and uh, I think it's time we make this into a volcano! Exciting! <laughs> Using chemicals and explosions and stuff! Yes! Should be fun! Let's have a shot! Right, here we are on the table and after a massive coffee, coffee fit let's have a look at this thing. Right, make and erupt a giant volcano in 20 minutes. It was 5 99 when we got it from B&M uh, It's been sitting around for quite a while uh, so Yes, bought a while ago. Compound dries in 15 minutes. Learn how and why volcanic <coughs> eruptions occur and more. Magna chamber, lava, vents. Okay, so what this is is basically a little kit and you mix the chemicals inside and it erupts before your very eyes, making your own unique volcano model. So look what's inside. Okay. Contents. Plastic volcano structure, volcano making compound, bottle and tube. Eruption system, <coughs> three real volcano rocks, Ooh. erupting mix, safety goggles, and instruction leaflet. Preparation before beginning, always cover your work area. We've got bags for that. With scrap paper, we've got bags for that. To protect it from dust and chippings, organize the contents of your setup on the scrap paper using suitable flat surface such as table or desk. Keep a cloth or paper towels close to your work area to wipe away dust and to clean utensils if required. Only for use by children over eight years. Adult supervision required recommended. Well, I'm going to do this while Fluffy is away, so a bit of a risk, but let's do it anyway. Right, let's have a look. Never done this before, so this is the first time for me and probably first time for you. Yeah, a bit of cellar tape here to get past, so I'll do this as live as possible. Though the second period, I suspect, will be done using camera magic. Okay, we have a bottle, a measuring cup which will come in handy afterwards. Nice. B&M Dakota Drive Liverpool. Huh, so it looks like this is from B&M so it looks like they made this product themselves. Weird. Okay, here's our a volcanic structure. Dust that. <coughs> no, that's how it is. It's got a little chamber on the side here and the top where it can spurt through. Cool, like that. Instruction leaflets, always handy. We have volcanic compound. Oh, oh, it's incredibly dusty. Let's see what they mean. We have another volcanic compound. tube and uh, very kindly something that uh, I don't think most companies would ever bother with and it is highly appreciated they're cheap but they'll do the job some safety goggles excellent <coughs> nice thought there B&M uh, you get loads of extra points for that but your volcanic rocks <laughs> tad disappointing but <coughs> okay See how the thing turns out. Right, what do we do? Preparation. Cover your work area with scrap paper. Okay, ducky. I'm going to use <coughs> a large bin bag. Protect my tea. Protect my tea. Let's protect the tea. Use a large bin bag. Okay. Uh, open sesame. Okay, let's uh <coughs> Oh god, I got Rick Astor stuck in my head. No! Right. Okay, there is our bin bag protecting our work area. I'm going to bring these close to the camera so we'll put these over here. In all honesty. Oh, stop singing that. Crap. Right. Okay. Where 
did they put the drugs equipment? Arrgh! Right, I have no idea how this is done, so <coughs> that's as flat as possible. Okay, right, getting started. <coughs> Connect your plastic tubing to the fitting on the top of your volcano and feed the XX tubing out via the notch so the tubing is on the outside of your volcano. Okay, so it looks like <coughs> can I access it to the top of your volcano. Yeah, so, so the tube is on the outside. So it looks like it goes something like that. I'm scared. I'm scared I am. <sighs> Can you pass your tubing to the fitting on the top of your volcano and feed the excess tubing out via the notch? So the tubing, eh? the fitting on top of the volcano and feed the excess tubing out via the notch. It's got to be that way. Right, it's got to be like that. Add 266 centimeters, 9 ounce of warm tap water and mix until all the sand has disappeared. Oh god. What? This is not clear. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. This is not clear. I'm going to have to have a read for this. I think this is the sand. Might not be. This might be the sand. It doesn't say. Ooh, not a good start. Anyway, I'm going to get some warm water, so I'll be right back. Right. Okay, it turns out. Uh, when you read later, they have to get more stuff, so I've had to get vinegar, liquid soap, I've only got uh, this tango stuff, so that will have to do. Uh, I've read the instructions to the end. Uh, <coughs> oh, I need some scissors as well. Bugger. I'll get them in a minute. Uh, so it turns out that this must be a basic volcano mix. I have uh, nine ounce. I have 140, 280, oh, that's close enough. I have the mixture in here, so I need to apply this in here. This is the dust, oh, there's nothing in a bag. Okay, this is the dusty, dirty process. Okay, double bagged, appreciate it, thank you very much. So the uh, manual factor was for that. We'll see when they've done well, I'll see when they've done bad. I call it as it is. And um, we put this into, yeah, just hot tap water and mixio. It's mixio. So, do, do, do. Oh, here it goes. Lovely. Mm, now we're going to get dirty hands. Yes. It's a bit. Uh, well, it's not. Skip your mixture and apply it to the outside of your volcano. Make sure you cover, you leave the moat around the base of the volcano clear to collect your lava. Okie dokie. Apply this mess in a moment. Give yourself a couple more stirs. It's a bit thin, but eh, there we go. Okay. Let's apply the gunk. Gunk. We like gunk. Oops, well, not clear. Oh well. Tell you what. Let's cut again and I shall go get some hand towels. Be right back. Okay, I got the hand towels now. Let's do this the natural way, shall we? Yeah, that's good. Well, that feels nice. Oh yeah. Uh, now does it say make sure that you in my show the tube I need no plastic showing so I've got to put some of this gunk in here. Yeah my little plastic tube is free and oh why do I feel like playing the music from Ghost right now? 
Yeah, this has got to be the most sensual thing I've done on my channel. You'll note I said on my channel, because it's not the most sensual thing I've done, but it is for the channel, yeah. Mmm, yeah. What a sexy volcano, yeah. Mm. So, uh, anyway, uh, shall I have some more? Go on. Just do it for the hell of it. There we go. Don't think this is going to take 20 minutes to try. Might take a little bit longer. But we shall see. And I don't think I need all this gunk. There we go. Some in the hole. Uh, that looks good. Oops. Doesn't know. It looks shit now. Right. Okay. Mmm, sensual. Yeah, talk dirty to me, Mr. Vo- Yeah, skin carried away. Uh, right, let's wipe this. Oh, God. I think that will do for my cover. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go wash them fully. Yeah, be right back. Right, it appears I need to let that dry for full effect. Uh, mm. Although... <sighs> hmm... I'm wondering... if it will stick properly once that's dry, when we do the second part. Uh, uh, that should be right. We'll leave it and uh, we'll let that dry and we'll come right back. Ah, bugger it. Uh, let's do it anyway. Uh, always wear your safety goggles before doing this bit. I've got glasses on so I'm not going to bother, but you must. So, what we do... Add one tablespoon of baking soda to the crater at the top of your volcano. Now this, I assume, is our, vol is our baking soda. And it's the only other ingredient here. So let's uh, have a nice healthy tablespoon, shall we? Into a nice eruption. One tip to the manufacturer. Uh, yeah, it would be handy if it did label what these are. For people who might not realise. Little tip for you, boys. Okay, there's a tablespoon. Probably quite a healthy tablespoon, but <laughs> it's what we like. Uh, right, remove the cap and add 90 millilitres or three ounces of vinegar. So we need to get 90 millilitres, 90, three ounces. Uh, right, turns out that three ounces or 90 Milliliters is sorry, 90 milliliters is 90 centiliters. There we go. So now, oh, stinky. We now add that to our little bottle. <coughs> oh, what messy fun. Uh, <coughs> okay, and put that over there, and a few drops of liquid soap. This will give you eruption a firmly thick look. A few drops, so one, two. Top on, give it a little stir. We want it bubbling up in there, but we do want them mixed. So there we go. Right. Okay. Move the cap. Already removed. And put on the end of the hose. Gently squeeze the vinegar bottle till vinegar flows through the top of your volcano. Watch as your volcano erupts. Let's test the hypothesis. Well, so far there's nothing coming through the top. Oh, 
Whoa. There we go. <laughs> Gently squeezing. And my volcano is apparently erupting. Had some more of this crap. Is that supposed to be baking soda they put in there? Because it's not very impressive if it is. As in, it does bugger all. Hmm. It's supposed to be baking soda. Oh, God. I'm going to have to adopt this. Hang on. Right. Luckily, I have some Tesco's baking soda, so let's see if that does a better job. On that cack. Got to be slow enough that it reacts with the baking soda. And to be honest... So you've got to go really slow for it to do anything of semi-interest. Um, oh. Yeah. It's cack. Looks nothing like bloody volcano. And that's it. Um, yeah. Just an experiment. Um, if I do. Oh, wait. Oh, I've got vinegar on my bloody trousers. This isn't going well, is it? Hmm. Let's try this. Come on, Vinegar. Do something. React. <sighs> Come on. Are you going to erupt? No, you're just going to sit there and look dumb. Well. <sighs> I have to say, that uh, was cock. Uh, I mean, it's reacted. It's not exactly exploded. And you've got some dry baking soda on the top. Yay. That's about it. The sides are dry nicely. A little, nice little dome. Um, other than that, fail, cack, crap. Um, yeah. If you want to teach your kids science, uh, don't use this kit because it's shit, and it will uninspire them. Have a look at the YouTube videos online somewhere and try something better than this. This is cack. No wonder they sold them off cheap. Thank you very much. Not you, being <coughs> Excuse me, not you BNM, that was crap. But the rest of you, thank all very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>